Hey guys, this is TJ with FMP Wargaming, and I'm going to be doing a melt gun effect on my Death Guard Contemptor Dreadnought that I'm working on right now. Uh, so, uh, as you can see back here, you're going to need uh, Nun Oil, Drakenoff Nightshade, Druchi Violet, and the last coat will be Seraph Seraphine Sophia. So, uh, as you can tell, I got some of the old bottles here. But uh, uh, we're about to get started on this, and I'm going to show you how to do a melted gun effect very similar to the one I just did on my knight. So as you can see on my melted gun right here, uh, I've already started out with a base coat, and the base coat is just uh, lead belcher. And then what I did is I already did one, uh, one coat of nun oil on it. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start off with another coat of nun oil, and I'm slowly going to work my way up to the... Drachnorth Nightshade to the Violet all the way up to Sophia to actually give me a nice shade of it looks like the melted gun just went off and just to let you know we'll be doing two coats of this so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that real quick so we'll start off with the Nun Oil and what I'm gonna do with it is I'm just gonna do it like on the end of it on both sides so I'm just gonna go ahead and work everything around just like this just kind of on the end of it I just want to give it a real nice kind of black shade make it looks like it's been worn, that kind of stuff. So, switch it up. Kind of turn it around, you want to get every nook and cranny. Try to get in between it. But you just want to make sure you get the end piece. So I'm looking at just maybe a millimeter or so on, and that's about it. That's all I really want to do on it. So just about a millimeter or so. So just at the end, you can kind of see it right in here. I'm not trying to go past maybe that first line. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the nun oil. And then I'm gonna bust open the Drachnorth Nightshade. It's open right now. And then I'm just gonna kind of work in just a little bit on that side. It's kind of at the end of the, the nun oil, at that end of the black. Just want to kind of work that around a little bit. You twist the model back and forth, just twist it around in your hand. That'll kind of get you on the same area. What I've found out about these washes is they really don't blend too well. So it's kind of, you're just going to put on a couple layers of it. Then after the blue, we'll go ahead and get started and I'll break out with the purple. Set that down, open the purple, give it a good shake here. Start with the purple now. And just like that, I'll kind of make my way around and just kind of do the same thing. Right at the end of the blue, kind of work in the purple. Now you are going to be using a lot of it. You kind of want to get a lot of it on there because even though it looks like it's going to be a lot right now, it's really not going to dry actually that thick. Uh, because you know with the washes and everything, they really don't dry that quick. Now I try to blend it in there just a little bit like so. You can kind of see I'm trying to work it in here and blend it in. But you can kind of see the difference between the colors and the textures on there. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, close that one up. Place it back down. And I'll do is set that off to the side. Then I'll break out the last color, Sophia. And just like that. Kind of work that around too right here. And you're just gonna add that to the end of it. Just a little bit. Just like that, I'll work it around, trying to get a good good idea of what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, the Sophia, I like to do a little bit more of it, just cause it kind of blends out. You know, just get a little more as you go. Just keep on working it. Pull it all the way around. You want to make sure you get a real good coat on it. And then get that coat on there. Here, Kind of want to make it all about even on the same keel too. So just like that, you can kind of see it. It's all kind of blended in there. You can kind of see the different, uh, the different colors kind of blending in together. Then what you're going to do is, the last time I did this, it took about 20 minutes to dry. So what I'll go ahead and do is I'll set down this right here, wait about 20 minutes, let it dry, and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to do the last bit of it. Hey guys, so I waited about 20 minutes. It all seems to be pretty dry. Uh, you can kind of see the effect a little bit. 
uh, it's not too clear and that's why we're going to do a second coat of it. So uh, uh, sorry about the camera angle the first time. Uh, it's the first time I've done this so I'm just trying to learn a little bit probably like you guys. So hopefully this way you'll get a little bit better of a view of what I'm trying to do here. So uh, just like this one I'm going to go ahead and start out with. Uh, I'm going to start out and I'm going to do the black on the end again. So this time you can kind of see it going in there. Uh, we're just going to do black. Kind of mix in with the blue a little bit. But by the next coat you should really see some improvement on it actually doing the minimal shade. And then I'll go ahead and go on to the blue. We get a, quite a lot of the blue. The blue uh, really kind of mixes in really well with the black and the purple. So just, I usually do just a very, very thin layer of the blue. Just a very thin layer. You can kind of see it. Got to get one more here. Mm -hmm. Blue, and then we'll go ahead and move on to the purple. So just like that, get a good layer of purple in there. Purple really mixes in with, really gets in with the blue. Kind of just I almost sometimes I like to lay it right over it on top of each other. And then last, I'm gonna wash the brush up a little bit here. And last shade, I'll get the Sophia on there. Gotta give you a lot of guys who make painting videos a lot of props. I don't know how y'all do it. Paint and have the camera in your way. So uh, hopefully y'all can kind of see what I've been doing here. Focus in here. So it's just basically you're just doing a couple. Uh, you're just going to do four different layers. They're all going to kind of blend in together. And just like that, I'll go ahead and set it back down. Yeah, that's a little bit of a view of kind of what I'm trying to do here. Uh, you can kind of see it from the top angle. Uh, you'll see that I'm using the Nun Oil, then uh, to the Nightshade, then to the Violet, and then Sapia. Sorry, uh, not really good uh, pronouncing stuff. So uh, that's kind of it. Uh, it'll dry, and I'll kind of post uh, kind of what it looks like after it dries. Uh, maybe a little picture on this after that. And that's kind of how I've done my melt gun effects. It looked pretty good on my night, and a lot of the guys up at the store seem to like it. So this video is showing you how to do that. Thanks a lot, guys.